Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I want to show you six ways to use jute to make fire. Fire roll, then we'll take some of it and make a bow drill bow string out of it. And then we'll take that bow string and just coil it up, stick it in the char tin, and we'll char that. And then if we get good sun, I'll take and ball up some of this, break it down and ball it up and we'll solar ignite it in the sun. And then I'll show you the difference between solar igniting this plane and then putting ashes on it and solar igniting it so much quicker. So that's five techniques. And then the last technique will be um, coming back here to the fire table and using a ferro rod on it. Let's go ahead and get started. We got a lot, we've got a lot to accomplish today. I love this fall season. Right now it's about 69 degrees out. It's perfect. I'll only sweat a little bit in temperatures this low. Great time of the year. I did get my scope in Sunday and yesterday I used the uh, subsonic ammo which is just 710 feet per second as opposed to regular 22 ammo which is 1,300 feet per second. Zeroed that sucker in. I was making three round groups at 15 yards, about three quarter inch circle. And then at 30 yards, I was my three rounds was in like an inch and a half group. And I'm gonna get better as I get used to the rifle. So really like the scope, the scope is nice. All right, and today we'll top board it with this fireboard. I'm just trying to even it out. It's a little bit lumpy here and there. That feels kind of the same thickness throughout. I'm gonna put it on this end because this end looks like it's thicker. It's gonna hold the ashes in there instead of them just filtering down to the table. These are regular wood ashes, just what I happen to be burning in the stove. Tulip poplar, oak, um, bamboo, sycamore. Just anything that I happen to be burning, that's the ashes I put in my bottle here. Need a little bit of ashes on the board, the bottom board. And as far as the top board, the ashes will just transfer off of the bottom board to the roll to the top board. smell it. I'm about to break it in two right there. I see smoke. 
it's having trouble. I can smell the oil in that jute, so it's having trouble surfacing. That almost went out because of the oil in there, and you could smell it too. So jute is good for the fire roll. Let's burn some leaves. Must be some moisture in these leaves. I think they're gonna go, as long as that smoke is intensifying. They're getting hotter and hotter. Anytime you use leaves, you have to baby them to make them work. All right, I'm going to show you how I'm going to how I'm going to twist this up into a bow drill bowstring. Let's wait till we get some flames going here. Now what I like to do, because I like to reverse wrap, is to take and reverse wrap it into two ply and then take that two ply and reverse wrap that into four ply. And that'll be strong enough for a bow drill bowstring. But today we're just gonna do it quick and easy. We're just gonna take and fold it in on itself till it's four ply and just twist it up. It's gonna look something like this. Two ply. And four ply. Put a big old knot in there because that's what's going to go into my bow. And on this other end, we'll just twist it up. Let's see, what have I got to hold this with? Might be able to hold it right here. This other end, I was thinking about taking a toggle right here and just twisting it up. It's going to make a perfectly acceptable bow drill bowstring. It's going to be plenty strong enough. If you've ever broken down any jute twine, you know how weak it is. 
this bowstring will not be weak. It will hold up just fine. So, let me twist this up. I want to show you. I mean, it's not rocket science. But most everybody carries jute twine, so it's good to know that it can be used several ways to make fire. string down inside the roll here as a keeper oh I'll be using a water oak fireboard and a pine spindle and a fat wood bearing block with some cotton stuck to it got cotton stuck to my fireboard too Somebody must like the fire roll a lot. All right. I'm gonna stick it in my handy dandy handheld bowstring bow. Twist it up some more. All right. Now I'll take and push this bow into my thigh to tighten this string up. And I might have to do that one more time as the uh, jute stretches out a little bit. Let's go for it. Oh. Tighten it up. Got an ember. Here's the bearing block end. And here's our jute. Jute bowstring held up good, didn't it? Which will now go into the char tin.
I love that. I never get try, tired of making fire with bow drill and a lot of these, a lot of other techniques also. All right. Now I'll build this fire up here and we'll go ahead and put the char tin in there. We are good to go. All right. So when the sun gets up a little bit higher, we'll do some solar ignition of jute, solar ignition of some ashed jute, and then the only thing left for the sixth process is to ferro rod ignite some jute. And we will go ahead and try that char cloth out, so. You could say seven techniques, I'm calling it six techniques. Charring the jute and using flint and steel to ignite it as one technique by itself. All right, let's try some mostly unprocessed jute. Solar igniting it with the Wallet Fresnel lens. And I wanna compare how fast we can ignite it, either ignite it to flames or ignite it to a big enough ember to ignite a leaves tinder bundle. So once again, comparing the ashed to the non-ashed. We'll use six foot strips. And only slightly process it. Still on these long strands too. So, all right. Let's get a feel for how long it takes to ignite some leaves with this kind of a jute. Might not take as long as I thought it would. We'll find out here in a Now I might be able to use that inside inside these leaves and use it like an ember. Let's try it. Wow, that really took some doing. Now, to make it happen a whole lot quicker, just put some ashes in there. And I'll show you how much, how much better that is.
Alright. Watch this. Done. <laughs> it's ignited. Now you can choose to keep blowing on it and make it go to flames or use it in some leaves. Let's see if we can make it go to flames. We'll put it in some leaves. But you see, the point I'm making is it's immediately self-sustaining. And I'm not going into great detail with any of these six techniques that I'm showing you, but I have multiple videos on each one of these techniques. So go check out my playlists and uh, You'll have all the information you want for the techniques I'm showing, the techniques that I mentioned, and other fire techniques that you may be interested in. Take six feet and break it down. I mean, you can take these apart. You don't have to use the knife on them. They will come apart. All right. That's all you need to ferro rod ignite. You don't have to break it down into each individual strand. Let me show you. Simple. And of course we knew that jute would do really well with the ferro rod. I'm curious about what our charred jute looks like. Let's let this burn off a little bit and then we'll open this can up and see what it looks like. And do some flint and steel with it. All right, let's see what we ended up with. Charred jute. Looks pretty good. Here's our knot. Is it gonna hold together? Oh, it's stronger than I thought it would be. So we'll be able to put this right up on top of the shirt and use our steel and see if it'll ignite. What 
I'm gonna do is tear it. I'm gonna tear it and make some of these fibers here because I just bounced a bunch of sparks off of the side of this. It didn't ignite. Let's see if these, see if those little fibers are going to ignite. Keeps igniting and going right back out. I think regular jute that doesn't have as much oil in it as this has in it, I think will ignite just fine. But this is going right up, going right up into those tiny fibers and not igniting. not expecting that at all. Surely it's not going to resist a ferro rod. Surely not. You should never have to use a ferro rod with char material, unless it's my oily jute. Well, technically it worked for char, but it's that's not what char was meant to do. Char was meant to be used for flint and steel. Instead of going out like that, let's do two more ferro rod ignited, broken down jute. Try this one. Works fine. To only break them down a little bit like that. All right, y'all. I hope you'll get out there and practice some of these fire techniques do go and check out my playlist there'll be more plenty plenty of information on all these different fire techniques in those playlists appreciate you joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one